Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to see how to perform the 1D static structural analysis of a stepped bar. So here the problem is given. A bar as shown in figure 1 is subjected to an axial load of 200 kN at point P. Calculate the nodal displacement and the element stresses. So here, a 1D bar is given, two different cross sections and two different materials are given. The diameter of the first cross section is 55 mm and the diameter of the second cross section is given as 27.5 mm and the Young's modulus for cross section 1 and cross section 2 is given. Now we are going to perform the static structural analysis using ANSYS workbench. First open ANSYS workbench. So here you can see various analysis types. So in that click static structural and drag it here. Now right click on the engineering data and select edit. So here the predefined material is structural steel. In our problem we are going to define a new material. So you can click here and you can type material 1, click enter. So now you can see a question mark. It means that we haven't specified the material type. So the material type in the given problem is isotropic elastic. So you can click the isotropic elastic and drag and drop it on material 1. So here you can see two yellow marks. One is Young's modulus. So for material 1, that is for cross section 1, the material properties are given and its Young's modulus is given as 70 into 10 power 9 Pascal. And the Poisson ratio is given as 0.3. Next I am going to define material 2 for cross section 2. So type material 2, click enter and click isotropic elastic, drag and drop it here. And for cross section 2, the material is given as 200 into 10 power 9, that is the Young's modulus and the Poisson ratio is given as 0.3. Now we have specified the material properties for material 1 and material 2. Now you can click the project. Next we are going to define the geometry. Right click on the geometry and click new design modular geometry. Now there are three planes. So I am going to select the XY plane. Right click on that and click look at. So here I am going to model the step to bar. Before that I am going to change the unit because here it is given in meter and you can change it here, go to units and click millimeters. Now click sketching and select line, and select the origin and draw a horizontal line. Now go to dimensions, click general, click the line and drag it here. You can modify the dimension. So length of element 1 is given as 300 mm. Now click generate. So at each step you have to click generate to complete the operation. Next I am going to create another sketch to model the second cross section. So you can click new sketch and you can go to draw and line and you can draw another horizontal line. Again go to dimensions, click general, so select the line and mark the dimension. So the length of this second cross section is given as 400 mm. Now click generate. Now go to concept and select line from sketches because now we have created a sketch and we are going to convert the sketch into a line. So click on that. So initially select line 1 then click apply then click generate. Again go to concept, line from sketches, select the second line. So here change the operation to add frozen. So the difference between add material and add frozen is initially we are going to add the material. In the second element we are going to add frozen because this is a separate material from the material one. If you select mat add material then it will combine both these two. So we are going to select add frozen, select the line and click 
apply. Now you can see two lines here. Click generate. Now I am going to define the cross section. Go to concept. Go to cross sections and select circular. Here we are going to give the R as an input. So the radius of the first cross section is 27.5. Click generate. Again go to concept. Cross section. Circular. And the radius of the second cross section is 13.75 mm. Click OK. Then click generate. Now you can click this plus symbol. Go to line body and define the cross section. So for first line body, the cross section is circular 1. Click generate. And for the second line body, the cross section is circular 2. Then click generate. Now we have created two separate bodies. Now I am going to combine that. So select control and select these two bodies. Right click on that and select form new part. So now we have created a new part. Click generate and you can close this. Next, right click on the model and click edit. So you can see the progress here starting mechanical. So you can see a progress tree here. So in that, first I am going to specify the materials. So in that, go to geometry and part 1. Select line body 1 and define the material. So you can select the material, click the arrow mark. And for line body 1, the material is material 1. And for line body 2, the material is material Two. Now I have defined the material, then go to mesh, right click on that and click generate mesh. So here I am going to discretize the entire structure into small elements. Next, select static structural analysis and go to environment so you can see the options for loads and supports. So here the model is not clearly visible so you can go to display and you can select cross section. Now again select the environment and select fixed support. So to select the vertex you can see for example if you are going to select the edge then you can select this option and here I am going to select vertex so I am selecting this and select this vertex click apply then again go to fixed support. So you can click the scroll button and you can rotate it and select this vertex and click apply. So now I have applied two fixed support. Next I am going to apply a force at the center. So you can select force and in the force we have two options. One is a vector and another one is components. So I am going to select components and in the geometry I am going to select the center point and there will be three directions. So you can see here one is X, another one is Y and another one is Z. So I am going to apply 200 kilonewton force in the X direction. Okay. Click apply. So now you can see that a 200 kilonewton force is applied in the X direction. So now right click on the solution and select solve. Now the solution is completed. To view the result, you can right click on solution, you can select insert and here you can see beam tool. So in the beam tool you will have default results for beams. So you can select beam and if you want to add anything, for example, I am going to insert total deformation. So if you want to insert any additional results, you can do like this. So click total deformation. Then right click on the solution and select evaluate all results. Now you can click direct stress and you can visualize the result. So in the first cross section, you can see that the maximum stress is 5.48 e power 7 Pascal and the minimum stress that is negative stress acts on the second cross section. So the minimum stress value is minus 1. 17 e power 8 pascal 
then if you want to see the deformation you can click here and the maximum deformation occurs at the center and its magnitude is 2.35 e power minus 4 meter so to export these images you can go to images and select image to file and I'm going to select is deformation 1 and in direct stresses go to images image to file click OK and the file name is stress 1 now if you want to save the project then you can go to file you can save you can give file name so this is file 1 and you can save the project thank you